Welcome to the Waterloo School's Student News, West High Edition. I'm Parker. And I'm Taylor. Sixth grade band students from Hoover Middle School had a memorable first concert experience. Not only did they perform, but they also taught their instrument to a special guest and saw them perform on stage. Let's hear more about this fun learning opportunity. Play the uh, B flats quick. So it's just open. We've done a lot of basic teaching this year, them being beginners. We have a process that we use and they have excelled so much that we thought this would be a great opportunity for them to teach their parents how to play so their parents can understand what they've been doing the last few months in class. So we had to come earlier than the concert started and we taught our parents a song called Hot Cross Buns for 45 minutes and we had to teach them the rhythm and like how to tap their feet. Then they played and it was funny, but they, you could hear that they were playing it, but they were playing it together. Our teacher told us that we have like a whole bunch of stuff that we have to do at the same time to be able to play the trumpet. And like some parents aren't like coordinated to do that, so it's kind of hard for them. I had to be really patient. It was an interesting experience, but uh, a little difficult too. Now we understand like how what they go through when they're trying to teach us and how hard it is. Because yeah. we were only teaching one person and they teach like 30 people. And then once we like, the few days we, when we practiced all together with the whole band, which was 101 kids. I'm glad that they like gave us some good tips on like what to teach them because like when they've done it longer than we have and we're teaching our parents and that can be kind of stressful because they've never really probably played the trumpet before so I'm glad they gave us those tips. Our goal was twofold, that the students had an opportunity to teach, that they had an opportunity to show off all the great things they've learned so far this year, because they've learned a lot. And then also so the parents understand how difficult it is to learn an instrument and how great their kids are doing at it. First year teachers are often nervous and need help to prepare their classrooms. Thankfully, district mentor coaches started a new teacher store to provide free classroom supplies to welcome these teachers to the district. I like the the new teacher is store. Everything's free. It's take what you need. We let any of the new teachers initial licensure come through first, so they have to be in their first or second year of teaching. They got to come in and go shopping, and then we let anybody new to the district also come through. This is great just because first year teachers were already a little nervous and have to try and keep up with the veteran teachers and um, being able to have these things available to us without having to pay for as much of that stuff. It just kind of helps us feel a little more confident, a little more prepared, and helps us be able to offer the same thing veteran teachers can. Mm -hmm. It gives us a chance to make that environment, that learning environment for the students, where normally things like borders and stuff you're paying out of pocket for, because that's kind of something you just add. And so it makes it inviting, warming, welcoming. We are open kind of on an as-needed basis right now. We're going to send out emails about once a month, just kind of reminding people that the store is available and if they want to schedule a time with one of their mentor coaches to come out, I'd like to start opening it on the PD days to see if people want to come out during their lunch. The overall goal is to really just show support for the new teachers and let them know that we understand how financially burdening it can be to supply your own stuff for your classroom and that we've got a plethora of resources behind them to make sure that they're getting everything that they need. A community organization called Coats for Kids donated coats, as well as hats, boots, and scarves to hundreds of elementary students in the district. See how they brought warmth and joy to students at Becker Elementary. We work with 29 schools in Black Hawk County and work closely with the family support workers. They're the ones who identify the kids and then we provide the coats and boots and snow pants. Our community members are the ones who donate to the cause. Leadership class at East High makes scarves for us, and the kids, first they get to pick the coat, then just picking the hat and the scarf to go along with it. And some kids like to match, mm -hmm. and others get every odd color. Yeah. So it's really fun to see. I look good. The kids really enjoy it, because it's almost like a mini shopping trip, and a lot of them never get the experience of having a brand new coat, so 
it's a really special moment for them. And to get to pick it up themselves. Yes. Because most of us moms yes. have an employee yes. on kids. <laughs> the expressions, the oh. comments. <laughs> You'll hear the excitement in the air. I mean, if we could bottle that up, Deanna, we oh. have no problem getting enough donations. We have millions. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you for the call. Thank you. Those of us in the Waterloo schools are fortunate enough to have higher education institutions right in our backyard. These institutions partner with our schools to provide amazing opportunities to our students. Recently, Hawkeye Community College partnered with Orange Elementary to bring state-of-the-art virtual science learning to all students. Let's learn more. I can touch it. Wow, this is so cool. This week was really meant for us to just kind of dabble in what there is out there to see all the things that are offered through our partners at Hawkeye that are right up the street from us. Every kid has the opportunity to be on the semi with the virtual reality that's on the semi in the art room with the Ozobots, create coding and creating a path for the Ozobots, and then in the media center with the Google Expeditions. Typically, this stuff has been provided for middle schoolers, fourth and fifth at the youngest. But I would tell you, they're super excited about being able to experience this stuff. And it worked beautifully for our teachers and for our staff and for just everybody. It was just a win-win because we just kind of halted our specialist schedule. And when they come to specials, this is what they're doing. So it doesn't take any academic time out of their day and they just get to come during their specials time and do something special with STEM. It creates a space for us to be able to see all the different opportunities that we could add and enhance our lessons in our units. Could you go to a human heart in, real, in science class? Could you see a real human heart? No. No, but you can experience it. See if you can turn it upside down. What kids typically say when it's time to go to specials, is this today my gym day? And they're saying something different this week because they still have regular gym, but now they're saying, is today my STEM day? Is today the day that I go to the semi? Is today the day I go into the art room and I'm gonna do the Ozobots? So they're super excited just to be here to find out what other device are they gonna see with everything that Hawkeye has provided for us. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching. Go Wahawks!